What is CEHA? CEHA is Certified Ethical Hacking Associate. It is an infrastructure security and ethical hacking training program. It is 95% practical oriented course with live demonstration. It is virtual classroom based training program in which you will also get an opportunity to interact with trainer. After successful completion of this course, you will get certificate from organization as well. And believe me, if you are looking to start career in information security, it is a good platform to start with. Let's have a quick look on the modules that we are going to cover in this training program. The very first module is here, that is introduction of hacking. In this module you will learn what are hackers, what are crackers, what is the need of hackers, and what is the difference between hackers and crackers, and what are the methodologies that they are using to attack someone. The next module we are having here, that is world of virtualization. In this module you will learn introduction of virtualization, why do we need virtualization, advantages of virtualization, software needed, sharing of internet, implementation of virtual machines. Let us see a small example, a small demonstration of this module. Right now you can see, I'm using an operating system that is Windows 7. But I'm having an application and directly I can jump to another operating system that is Windows XP. Again I can move to another operating system that is a different Windows 7. And again I can jump back to the previous one that I was using initially Windows 7. I'm using different operating system in a single desktop, in a single laptop. How you can implement the same concept in your machine and the best part, there is no limitation you need to use only Windows operating system. You can use any damn operating system, it could be Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Red Hat, Fedora, Ubuntu, Mac or Sun Solaris. You can use any number of operating systems as well. After this, next module we are having here that is password cracking techniques. In this module you will learn lots of password cracking techniques includes shoulder surfing, social engineering, rainbow table attack or brute forcing attack. After this we are having another module, Windows Hacking. I believe most of you must be using Windows operating system at your place, in your college or in your office. But sometimes you find some passwords at the login screen and many of times you got stuck on that login screen. Now how attackers are bypassing this login screen, how attackers are cracking these passwords that would be a part of this module and in case if you, it is your own system how can you protect yourself from all these attacks that would be part of this module so let's have a quick example how can attackers bypass these passwords what I believe you must have seen this login screen many of times the same screen I'm having here Windows 7 login screen it is asking for a password even I do not know the password I got stuck on this screen but anyhow I got here command prompt the moment I'm typing here, very basic command, start, explorer.exe, click enter, you can see, command got executed and I got start menu here itself on the login screen. I was not having the password. Even I do not need any password of this machine. Now you must be knowing about the functioning of alt plus tab, a shortcut to switch the windows and directly I can jump to desktop. I was not having any password. And the best part, you can see I'm using here Windows 7 as an operating system. It means the attacks that we are going to cover here, the security measures that we are going to cover here, would be working on every operating system of Microsoft that could be Windows 7, Windows Vista or Windows 8 as well. It would be a part of Windows Hacking module. Next module is here, Cryptography. In this module you will learn how to protect your data, how to encrypt your data, your personal files or your folders from your friends or from your family. Like let's have an example here. I believe many of times you must be having some data that you want to hide from your parents. Let us assume you are having a folder here that I do have on my desktop with the name of private. By default, what you people are using, by default you people right click on this folder, go to properties. You click on hidden file, click on apply, click on OK, the folder got invisible. But you know very well, it is damn easy to reveal it out. It is very easy to get this folder back. Go to folder options, go to view and show it as far as the folder sum. In case, if you want to use some advanced techniques, what do you need to do here actually? Let us see an example. First of all, let me uncheck the hidden properties of the same folder. I'll uncheck the hidden properties. Now what I have done here, I have made an application with the name of Look. I'll click on this application, let us see. 
The moment I have executed this application, you cannot, you can see there was no error message, there was no success message, and the moment you will try to open the same folder, I got an error message: access is denied. You know very well earlier it was having some data, even it was having some size, but the moment this time I'm checking the size of this folder, it is showing me folder is empty. The moment if you try to delete this folder, again I got an error message: Windows cannot remove this folder. Access is denied. Actually, you can look for many action on the same folder: open, delete, move, copy, rename, and paste. But what if if you want to open the folder? I have made another application for you guys. The moment you click on this application, it's asking for a password. I have entered the password. Again, nothing is visible on the screen. But the moment this time you will try to open the same folder, it is working very well. Everything is working very well. It is having some data. It is having some data size. and it is showing some properties as well and the best part to perform this attack we have not used any programming language we are doing all of these things by using windows inbuilt commands how these commands are being working how you can use to protect your data by using the same commands that will be a part of this module cryptography after this there is a next module that is malware that covers concept of viruses trojans and keyloggers i believe many of you must be facing some problems regarding viruses trojans or keyloggers in your own systems in this module you will learn how to protect your system from this malware by using more than one technique as you look on the screen there are lots of techniques that you can use to recover your system from this malware let's have a small example even you will be learning how to how attackers are attacking the systems by using this viruses how attackers are making their own viruses it's not a big deal it's very easy to make some viruses let us see an example here right in the c the moment i'm going to run i have typed here notepad notepad is working very well the moment i'm typing here ms paint ms paint is working very well and i believe you must be knowing everything is working in my system due to an application that is running behind this utilities there would be an exe that would be generating that would be executing these applications now what if if a virus would corrupt all of these exes let's see an example i have made an application i have made a virus what it will do it will corrupt all of the exes of my machine the moment i have executed this virus you can see i didn't get any error message or any success message but it has corrupted all of my exes from my machine now Let's try to check MS Paint. I got an error message. Windows cannot open this file. Let's try to check. Can you see? Again, I got the same error message. Windows cannot open this file. Every time I'm getting an error message, and you must be knowing everything is EXE in your own machine, any web browser, any web application, any antivirus, any game, any software. Everything is EXE. If EXE has been corrupted, it means your system has corrupted. Now, what if if you want to remove the same error message from your system? I have created another file with the name of patch. I'll click on this patch. Again, it has not shown me any message, and you can see every ex is working very well. Notepad is working. MS Word is working. Everything is working very well. How can you make your own viruses, and how can you protect yourself from all these viruses? It would be a part of this module that is malware. After this, next module would be. Linux setting. In this module, we will start from basics of Linux, shell commands in Linux, basic system hierarchy, Linux files, and in the end, the most important part: how attackers are cracking the Linux passwords. And we are not using here only single technique. As you can see on the screen, there are more than one technique that you can use to break Linux login passwords. That would be a part of this module. After this, next module would be here that is email hacking. In this module, we will start from introduction of email servers, PHP introduction, and lots of email attacks. As you can see on the screen, there are email tracing, fake mail, email forging, phishing attack, or farming or session hijacking. That would be a part of this module. Let's have an example. Uh, can you imagine somebody is using your email ID to send such mails without having a password? Yes, it is actually possible. Let us see how. You can see on the screen. I'm having a page here that is having some boxes with some labels: recipients, sender, sender name, subject, and content. 
you know what this page actually can do? This page can send an email to anyone without having someone's password. We do not need someone's password and an email can be sent to anyone. Let us see. In recipient, what I'll do, I'll pick my email ID as a recipient. It could be any sender name, any random name, any random email address could be one of you, any random subject and any message. Let me draft a mail. And click on send mail. The moment I have clicked on send mail, you can see all the boxes went blank and page got refreshed. But now let's come back to my inbox. You can see I got a mail here from the name of Neha. Same subject, same message, and the moment you can check the sender's email ID. It is looking like original email ID. The same email ID I have entered in the same web page to send such fake mail. These attacks would be part of this module. How attackers are using this attack? I believe many of times your accounts would got hacked. Attackers hack your accounts. How attackers are attacking your accounts? How attackers are getting passwords of your email account that would be a part of this module? Let's see an example. Many of times you go to Gmail. The moment you have written here gmail.com, you always get a web page a gmail login page, there is an option to enter a username and enter a password. The moment I am entering here my username and my password, I will click on sign in. The moment I have clicked on sign in, you can see page got refreshed and login boxes went blank. But at the same time, the same username and password would be sent to attacker. Let us see. You can see attack got a message. One user hacked. And there's a username and there's a password that I have written in that login page. There is my email ID and a test password that I have written there. The same username and password attacker got at its end. How can you protect yourself from all these attacks that would be a part of this module that is email hacking? Next module is here that is Network hacking. It covers introduction of network, introduction of networking, types of network, public network, private network, network animation and manhandling, how firewalls can be bypassed, that would be a part of this model. After this, next one would be here, that is something related to Google hacking. It doesn't mean we are going to hack Google. It means how can you refine your search on Google. But after refining your search, you can have some filtered result on Google itself. Right. That's an example. There are some keywords. There are some operators. It would be a part of this module how to use all of these operators. These are some advanced search Google operators. After this, even you can spy some live CCTV cameras. Next module is here that is website hacking. This module will cover introduction of web servers, introduction of database server, and various web application attacks like you can see on the screen, SQL injection, URL based SQL injection, cross site scripting attack, directory traversal attack, Local file increase and attack that would be part of this module. Let's have an example, a very small example of an attack on my test application. The moment I have opened a test application, you can see it is giving me an option, it is giving me a login page and asking for a username and a password. Now I do not know any username and I do not know any password. But the moment I am trying to make a talent connection with this website. I am entering a username and a password, I will click on login, that is not actual username and a password and you can see I got a message, hello administrator and it is also giving me some options like you can see, my profile, view profile, edit profile, manage users, add users, view all users, manage courses, add course, new course, delete course and also logout. How these attacks are being done by attackers that would be a part of this module. I believe you must be a college student, you must be doing job somewhere and that college or that institute or that office would be having its own website and then can be hacked as well. In that case how can you secure your own website that would be a part of this module that is website hacking. Next module is here that is wireless hacking. 
It includes introduction of wireless TOMS, wireless encryption, WAP cracking and securing your own wireless network. Most of the times I believe the moment you are checking your wireless connections in your system, like I am doing in my system, I am getting lots of wireless networks here. You can have a look. At the moment you also try to connect to any network, sometimes it asks for a key. Like you can see on the screen, it is asking for a key. How attackers are cracking this key, that would be a part of this module. And if it is your own network, in that case, how can you safeguard yourself from all this attack? Everything you will be learning in this module. After this next module would be here, that is software reverse engineering. It includes introduction of assembly language, working with OLED debugger and serial key phishing. In this module, actually you will be learning how to make an entire software into full version, how key generators are working and what is the concept behind the key gens. That would be a part of this module, Software Reverse Engineering. So thanks for guys, it was a demonstration about Certified Integral Hacking Associate Training Program.